First, breaking news tonight, a deadly shooting in Gaston County. A vehicle shot into while driving on I-85 southbound, and we just learned minutes ago this is now an active homicide investigation. Yeah, very disturbing situation that unfolded tonight at exit 13 in Gaston County. Highway has been shut down for hours now, and Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger is live on the scene. And Sydney, just a heartbreaking situation that we've learned just a few minutes ago. The teenager shot while driving on the highway. Brian and Alicia, that's exactly right. A lot happening here within just the last 20 minutes. 20 minutes ago, 85 South was shut down from exit 13 to exit 10B. There's a large police presence right behind me directing traffic off the highway. You can see they are gone now, and traffic is moving now on 85 South. But take a look at this video from the scene earlier. That is when law enforcement say they were alerted to a shooting on the highway around 542 this afternoon. When they got there, they said said they found 19-year-old Uriah DeAndres McCree suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. They say they took him to Caramont Regional Medical Facility where he did later die. There were several law enforcement agencies on the scene. Bessemer City Police, Gastonia Police, Gaston County Sheriff's Office, Kings Mountain Police, Gaston County uh, Police or as well. And uh, they are still working to learn what exactly led up to this incident on the highway. But people were backed up in traffic for hours. And we actually talked to one man as he was getting off the highway after waiting for, he says, the longest commute he has ever had coming home from work. Take a listen to what he said when he found out what happened. You just don't know if this is going to be your last day coming back home or not. Just because somebody is mad because... They can't get home quicker than anybody else. Yeah, law enforcement right now still again working to le learn what led up to this deadly shooting on the highway right now. No information about any possible suspects yet either, but we are going to follow this story closely, guys, and we will, of course, continue to keep you updated. I'm live in Gaston County, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News. All right, thank you, Sydney, for that. Queen City News will, of course, uh, continue to be on top of this breaking news. We'll have updates throughout the night and into the morning on our website at qcnews.com.